All right, so you're looking at the BenQ EW3280U 32-inch 4K monitor featuring HDRI technology by BenQ. So let me go ahead and get it unboxed and show you. All right, with a little camera magic here, we have some specs. It's a 32-inch screen. Max resolution is 3840 by 2160. It's an IPS panel, LED backlight. Uh, brightness with HDR off is 350. And with HDR on is 400, so it's classified as an HDR 400 panel. Native contrast. 1000 to 1 viewing angle 70 178 degrees you have a response time of 5 milliseconds refresh rate of 60 hertz aspect is a 16 by 9 display colors is 1.07 billion colors it is 95% of the DCI-P3 Your dynamic contrast ratio is 20 million to 1. Supports 10-bit color. For audio, you have a built-in 2.1 system. So it has two 2-watt two speakers in the front lower bezel. Down here in the brown trim. On the back of the monitor, you have a... 5 watt subwoofer which I will turn around the monitor later to show you that all your languages that it supports HDCP 2.2 compliant that's a wall mount of 100 by 100 you have eye care so it's zero flicker technology, low blue light technology, brightness intelligent plus, color weakness, e-paper mode, eye reminder. You have smart focus and super resolution available. It supports free sync with gaming. You have two HDMI 2.0 ports one display point, and one USB Type-C. That built into power apply. So all you have to do is plug the cable into it, plug the cable on the wall. You have your weight and dimensions. The monitor can only tilt. It does not swivel or adjust height. It is compatible with Mac and Windows. So let me break it down and show you a little more. So with the BenQ's HDRI technology, it offers intelligent control, studying clarity, and vivid colors. you want to learn a little more about it, you can also visit VenQ's site on this monitor or any monitor that supports HDRI and click, I'll put the link down in the comments below. This is a display HDR400 rated monitor. It's covered by the specs. We covered the fact that it has the 2.1 surround sound. It also has DSP uh, processing in it. So it has some pre-programmed sound modes. So I can show you that. And I'll give you a demo in a later video. But you have live pop, cinema, dialogue of vocal, game, rock, 
slash party mode. And then for HDR, you have HDR off, cinema, HDRI, game HDRI, and display HDR. So even if you have a non-HDR signal, like currently being fed from my laptop to the monitor, you can see standard. I can put it on HDRI. So it does an em emulated HDR with cinema. Game. And display. Or simply have it off. Let it auto detect based upon the signal. And if you're wondering how I'm pulling up all the menus and everything, it comes with a nifty credit card size remote here. Get that in the light a little better here. Let me go ahead and turn on some overhead lights to get you a little more lighting. All right, let's try it again here. Probably about right about there. So you got power, source, OK, select up, down, left, right, your HDRI button, menu, audio, volume up and down, mute, your uh, blue light intelligent plus. So if you hit that, you got your different low blue light modes, media, web surfing, office, reading, e-paper, and then of course off. And then you can have brightness intelligent on or off. And then this one brings up your different audio modes. And HDR lets you cycle through the different HDRs. Of course, volume 0 to 50. You can mute it. So if you want to just pull up the regular menus, you have input. Picture, color, audio, eye care, custom, and system. So if you want to go down to information, you can see right now it's currently being fed a 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz resolution, which optimal being 3840 by 2160, which I will show you with my Xbox One X. In a later video so back to an overview of this make sure we cover everything different sound modes we just covered and they classify this as an entertainment monitor so you can use it for movies TV gaming on the back panel you also have your on-screen button controls little joystick knob with power button and then your selector buttons. You also have on the bottom of the screen here, volume wheel. So no more having to toggle in through menus just to adjust the volume. But most people buying a monitor for say gaming or whatever else is going to be wearing a headset or using some form of surround sound system for movies or games to feel more immersive so but just normal sound video editing whatever else you know watching some youtube videos whatever else it puts out pretty good audio which i'll give you a demo of that later as well yeah you your eye care as we went toggle through showing you different options there as well so that's a little overview of the monitor let me uh, flip it around so you can see the back side. All right, here's the back side of the panel here. You have your 5 watt sub built into the back here. Power on the right side here. You have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and then your display port and USB type C. And headphone off to the side here. 
Now, I say these cables look a little messy or whatever, you want to tidy this up. It actually has built in cable management. All you have to do is actually feed the cable in through here. So I'm pull out the HDMI. You can feed it through here. Tuck it behind those. And just slip that right back down, all nice and clean. Uh, and plug your HDMI back in. Which, because I'm doing it on camera, isn't going to go as easy as it normally would. Or I didn't leave enough slack. Pause this and get this in for you. And voila. There. Sorry for that little hiccup. I had the cable around backwards. It flipped around on me when I went to rewire it. So yes, you can have your cables all ran through here nice and clean. You could reroute the power cable down through here as well. And like I showed you here, here is your joystick controls. Power button. And then here are the two buttons you can program. So you get your Kensington lock there. So, and then if you want a visa mount it, just pop this off, and you got your 100 by 100. Just snaps right back in. So, that is an overlook, front, back of the monitor, what it's capable of. Stay tuned for the future videos to show it in action. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions, put them in a comment or stay tuned for the other series of the videos. Have a good night or day and thank you for watching.